Now we look at the VPN client installation. In my example, I installed a client on a virtual machine running on my laptop. And it's important that you select endpoint security VPN as functionality and you see the installation proceeding. And once it installed, the early availability build that I was using here is this one. Once the VPN client is installed, you get prompted to create the site. As we do have a compliance policy for this registered computer already active, you see the computer is using the company portal, Windows 10 application. It's marked as being compliant. Only in this case, a SAML based authentication will be successful. So if we run the create site and then connect with it, of course, the connect will only be possible if the device is compliant. So we define our site. We select the default authentication scheme and then the site is successfully created. When we first connect to the site, we get prompted to approve the certificate that is seen. Here in my lab, I don't have a certificate that is publicly signed or signed by an enterprise CA. That's why I do get this certificate warning. And because the computer is already connected to the compliance management, and this connection is using the cache of the Microsoft Internet Explorer running on this Windows 10 system. And our embedded browser in the VPN client is looking at this cache and is checking if there are credentials. And if there are, it is using these credentials to authenticate. This makes the user experience very convenient because he doesn't have to type in again username and password. In case you would like to clear the credentials of the VPN, connectivity, you need to clear the credentials in the Microsoft Internet Explorer cache. If you want to monitor the user's connection, you simply go to the logs, you see there is a login event, and you see the group that this login event is related to, and you see the computer and the user. And of course, you see the same information if you use the CLI command on the security gateway itself. Thank you for watching this.